biggest uh, influence of Nanglen community on our project is probably uh, the old theater, the Chalem Thani theater, and its surrounding walls because we talked about it and we feel like it's the most iconic, like symbol of separation from the past and the people's history. And the other influence is the actual people of Nanglen itself because majority of them are elderly, and we want to talk about how, like, in the age of technology and innovation they are largely the target audience and often get left behind but somehow they feel the effect the hardest and I feel like the project actually talked about how like with little consideration the past and the present can move into the future with like together without leaving anybody behind. I think uh, with this project we want to affect the viewers that are unaware of slowly disappearing communities that's for example Nang Lung we want to preserve the heritage of those communities. Uh, we want to uh, preserve the spoken word of the people of the community. Their stories could be heard by more people uh, because those stories are very important stories. Also, uh, to add on to that, I feel like after seeing the artwork, I just want the viewer to think more about the elder in their community or even just their grandparents and uh, consider them more in like our daily life and activity. Our first idea is about Lakhon Chaturi and I offered the idea like 3D modeling about the character in Lakhon Chaturi and also the stage. We combine the 2D concept art from Prim and with my ability to 3D model and then we 3D printed those models uh, and also with my programming the, the, some digital abstract effects on the screen. I have talked to Kupanya, the last uh, Lacan charity performer. She said she wants to leave something that be touchable and also let the children in the community know what their culture and where they come from. So my 3D model idea is come from her in the first place. Also, after talking with her like for an hour, she taught me so much about this historical culture yeah, and what we can get inspired by it. The fact that in Nanlung, the nightlife is not very lively anymore like it used to be and uh, and so this the digital effects that you see on the screen are uh, a way to reflect this both kind of outsiders and I'm a partial outsider so um, we needed to experience the community and uh, and then we just had an idea from there about gentrification of the place so preserving it that's the concept of our work and essentially as soon as we saw the community as soon as we saw and the, the ban uh, yeah. yeah when Pidang was talking who was an advocate for the place uh, she was talking about gentrification and how they were going to lose that tiny community space where they have their Shatri costumes that were used way back in the past. So we were like, we want to preserve that. We want to let people know that they have rich cultures. Um, we really wanted to preserve these environments in, in the event that they might no, no longer be there in the near future. So um, worst case scenario, there's still going to be some kind of record of these places that people can visit and explore. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's, it's an immersive experience and we're using it to transport the audience into Nang Lang, mm -hmm. specifically uh, Ban Nang, Nang Lang, Nang. the markets, the soys, and you know, give them a, a little sense of what it's like to walk through these places. So that's, yeah, that's, that's where VR is applied in our project. At the beginning we wanted to use poetry and sound um, to talk about memory and also to meet the Nanlong community. But after we met the Nanlong community, we somehow had the shift towards uh, working more with image and photography and reflecting on memory. We tried to have uh, several layers to talk about the topic of memory and also how imperfect it can be. Like my difficulty is that I need to try to put my skill and her skill on the same level in this project because our area of practice is kind of 
very different. Ma is from animation and Ina is from music. So we try to put ourselves like together on the same level and do the work together. For me it was a lot the language and, and trying to be in exchange and sometimes meeting difficulties to whether find the words to give the idea to Nene um, or to understand uh, the ideas of Nene and it took us a long time <laughs> to understand. <laughs> I hope that, that the interest of the work is really the diversity of approaches and also to show that memories can be very diverse like for every person. For my part, I think technology like program applications can help us create a new type of art that's more playful. My initial idea for the concept would be thinking about the art tech, like the concept of distortion, because on the technology and social media, we can not see all of the information that are there, but then there's some information can be distorted as well from the reality. So as a film student, I got from one log line that I came up to describe this project broadly. Maybe the Xing is in people or places, but it's probably because we send a message through a medium that can distort information from reality. So this is like my main concept that I really want to communicate with the people. Um, yeah, I think in the big, from the beginning on, we knew that distortion would be a big term in our um, project. And when you remember things, you always distort them in your mind and you also distort them. Like memory is always changing the way you think about things. And um, uh, that's also what we try to involve into the project. And that's how we connected also both our skills to this topic and also this um, technique of working with camera, but also working with the website. I think when it comes to technology, what I really like about it is that you can create an archive and you can start collecting things and I think that is a very big part when it comes to representation and also for places that are very endangered also because of politics and capitalism it may be um, a very good way to keep on remaining what happened but also what is happening right now. As we combine like the concept and idea from technology and now learning, I think we sh I want to tell like the audience that we have to explore outside of the screen. We have to look at the reality and how the Nang Leung really be. But sometimes the discussions going on on social media present something that they want to present, but maybe it's actually not. I think also building the connections between a lot of things that can happen at the same time and also a lot of things that um, we can capture in photos or information to build like a big net of it. Our, our project is like we use the concept of our memory of the Nang Leung and I think everybody in Thailand only had a refrigerator and the mom or the, your dad, your parent always put their food to keep in their refrigerator and I think if we like put the memory inside your refrigerator it will be away with you and I use this idea to make the memory of Nang Leung to keep it away with the people. Like, if there's city development, I want like Nang Leung development too with the culture. We are using a photogrammetry to capture the Nang Leung community and we are using the aesthetics of it to speak about the concept. And I think it's uh, very necessary and it fits very well what we want to do. And we are also doing some photography and videos. For me, I like to do a new thing and I think this is a great chance to have new technique that I can know from her and we can combine our style together. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm a media artist and I work a lot with 3D scanning, a lot with animation and video and this is something what we are also using in our project here. So I think it had a big influence.
we using an AI photos to uh, integrate like technology in our project. We using two photo that we take when we explore Nang Leung community and we combine it together to make a new pictures. We want it to be a metaphor of Nang Leung's severed identity. We think that when people look far enough from the photo or installation that we make, people cannot tell that they aren't real. But when they look closer, it's like a metaphor of when people explore Nang Leung deeply, they will know inside Nang Leung community, they did not have the real identity anymore. So the initial concept was to work with the etymological roots of the neighborhood to make a conceptual project uh, which mix uh, history and culture with new technologies. Our intention was to the viewer to stop and observe and to learn how to appreciate the subtles of the new technologies and how uh, integrated it can be into our lives. We have a chance to interview local people inside the community. We found out that they have a lots of problems. It's like a good community and they have lots of food, but inside they have a real problem that need to fix and no one pay attention to them. And I also think maybe this will raise awareness to like society to care more about cultural too, because right now Nang Leung don't have that much like a local cultural or real identity anymore. We're doing a project about the Nang Leung community. So I've been looking all around information and then present it to Clara and then we brainstorm afterwards. Uh, when I was talking to my friends on the phone, she mentioned that, oh, did you know Nang Leung? It used to be a Green Lantern area back then. It used to have prostitutes who lives there all along the place. Uh, so I was thinking we can work on this concept too and uh, later when I make like all the slides and all and then I came to talk to Karas and I was like this uh, subject might interest us because uh, not so many people talk about it and many people might forget about this fact too. So we've done an interview with the girl who was uh, carrying the other girls and uh, apparently she's the only one who uh, left from this community and uh, also she was explaining that at those times the prostitutes were more accepted inside the, this society and they were kicked out from this uh, neighborhood and often uh, the sex workers are kicked out from some neighborhoods because of the gentrification and they used to be some of the first population who can be gentrified so it was also a metaphor of uh, the entire uh, population and uh, also uh, we tried to uh, use the metaphor of the mermaid to remind that the mermaid catch the intention with uh, her voice and she uh, used her feminine attributes to catch the boating guys <laughs> so that's why we tried to uh, use the mermaid metaphor in our projects yes. and uh, also she's looking through green lights which remind the green light district yes. of uh, the beginning of our project Thank you.